oh, it should be like this. I should be better, skinnier, prettier. I shouldn't eat this much. I should eat this and I shouldn't eat that. And then you walk off all freaked out in your head by your own rules, thinking that you've messed it up, you've done it wrong, might as well eat everything in the universe now and I'll just start again tomorrow. That's resistance. It's resisting what is and putting off what could be. And we do this day in, day out, time and time and time again. And then we wonder, sit back and cry, why am I so miserable? Why does everybody else succeed and not me? Why does it seem so easy for them and not me? Because you are spending all your time Fighting with yourself. So, this is our week of sexy motivation. Now, if you missed yesterday's live stream, you need to go back and watch yesterday's live stream. So, yesterday's live stream, we sort of started the topic of sexy motivation. And what I said was that we're revving up, we're gearing up, we're ready for a fresh start. By this stage, everybody's ready for a fresh start. My my theory is that you are free to have a fresh start anytime you like. And why on earth would you wait till January 1st when you can take a hold of it right now? Right now. Why would you put off what you can do and have and be today? Why? Why live in pain, misery, discomfort? One more second, one more moment when you can step into your power right now. So what I said yesterday was... You can find anything on motivation anywhere you like. You can just Google motivation. You'll get 10 billion pages of motivation. You can jump on YouTube, put in there motivation. You'll get everything's going to come up from whatever, you know, from a Disney movie to whatever, the world's leading motivational speakers. I don't care about that. I am talking about sexy motivation. I am talking about you knowing who you are, stepping into your power. Not just somebody coming at you going rah, rah, rah and motivating you for two seconds and they be on out of here. No. I am. I, what my goal is, is to set you up with a knowing insight and the tools and the understanding and the information to know that you are your own source of motivation. You've got what it takes and you can use it to move your life forward from where you are now to where you want to go, as you hear me say all the time. So this is our week of sexy motivation. Sexy motivation is different to your regular motivation. Sexy motivation is about stepping into and owning your personal power, knowing that there is nobody else on the planet like you. There is nobody that is unique and beautiful like you and that your what you perceive as your flaws are really your uniqueness and that's what makes you sexy. So this is what we're talking about, releasing the resistance. Here's how it rolls out. Um, oh, I should do this. I should, you know, quit eating so much chocolate at night. I should, uh, whatever, whatever the voice in our head is going on. And then, and then it's like there's a whole carnival of voices up here. You're not just, you don't have one voice going on up here. It's like a whole asylum of voices going on up here because then another one will answer and just say, no, no, you shouldn't do that now. You should uh, not, definitely not deal with your overeating situation or the fact that you, you know, spend all night stuffing chocolate down your, in your face at night or the fact that you overeat when you come home every night from work or the fact that you turn to, you know, cookies, chips and chocolate every time you get stressed. Don't deal with that now. No, no, no. It's nearly December, which means it's nearly January. You should just deal with all that later. Put it off because therefore you won't need to deal with that pain and discomfort right now, the perceived pain and discomfort, and you can have pleasure now and then go ahead and deal with all of that later. So instant resistance. What we think is, whoa, I've instantly gained some pleasure. I've gained a reprieve. I've got some time, some freedom before I'm going to have to knuckle down and do it, do it, right? We tell ourselves these stories. But here's what I really want you to get from today, from today's live stream. Who, where did the stories come from? Where? Where did the stories come from? Did somebody walk up to you and tell you, oh, this is an actual fact. If you put this off and this, 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 all these things are going to make your life so much better. If you put them off, oh, it'll be, you'll get a much better result by doing it in a few months time, a few days time, a few weeks time. No, it's not a thing. The person who told you to put it off is you. The person who told you to do it to start with is you. The person, So the person who told you to get your act together is you. Then the person who told you, no, definitely don't do that, is you. The person who's sort of fighting and resisting and then also got the juggling to and fro is also you. So what has got, who are you then? Who? Now, this is what sexy motivation is about. You have to decide. At some point, you simply have to decide who you are and step into being that person. Step into the role of being that person so that next time you, you comes time for you to think about am I going to eat an entire loaf of 
bread for dinner instead of cooking something that's going to be nutritious? Am I going to sit here all night from the TV watching Netflix and just eating junk food, even though I know I'm going to feel so miserable and upset with myself after, and I'm going to slink off to bed again, feeling really bad about myself with a stomach that hurts so much, in so much pain, promising myself, fancy promises, I'll do better tomorrow, I'll do better tomorrow. No, I'm full well. You won't do any different tomorrow. You won't because you haven't committed to stepping into the sexy identity of who you want to be. So this is what we're talking about today. It is really owning who you are and stepping into the identity of that person. Quitting the resistance. Now, I have some certain terms and rules that I use around this sort of thing. One of them that I throw out there frequently is the word rules. I'm not going to explain it to you now. We'll have to do it another time because it involves a little cuss word, which I don't want to say on a live stream, but they're rules, which are basically... Stupid rules, right? They are nonsense rules, okay? You can figure it out for yourself. They're nonsense rules that we make up in our own head about how we should do things and it should be like this and it should be like that and we shouldn't do it like this, we should do it like that. They are called rules. They are uh, rules, right, that we have made up and we now use to torture ourselves. Torture. Oh, should be like this. I should be better, skinnier, prettier. I shouldn't eat this much. I should eat this and I shouldn't eat that. And then you walk off all freaked out in your head by your own brawls, thinking that you've messed it up, you've done it wrong. Might as well eat everything in the universe now and I'll just start again tomorrow. That's resistance. It's resisting what is and putting off what could be. And we do this day in, day out, time and time and time again. And then we wonder, sit back and cry, why am I so miserable? Why does everybody else succeed and not me? Why does it seem so easy for them and not me? Because you are spending all your time Fighting with yourself, fighting with yourself in resistance against yourself, not somebody else, nobody else. There is nobody else involved here. It is you against you. That is the resistance. So this is what we're dealing with this week as we head into our week of sexy motivation. We are only on our second day. This is a powerful, powerful week. And as I said, if you're not sharing these live streams yet, you got to jump on this one because this is how we create global change. Global change as you step up and step into your power and own the hot, sexy, amazing awesomeness of who you are. Then when you share these live streams, you give somebody else permission to do the same thing. And one person sees it and another person sees it and suddenly... All of us that have been sitting back thinking, oh man, but the job of being awesome is for somebody else. It's definitely not for me. The job of enjoy enjoying my life is for those people, those rich, famous, fancy people. It's not for me. No. All of a sudden, we look at these people who are just like us and they're changing and they're changing and they're changing. And we think, hang on a second. I went to school with that girl. I used to know that person. That person works in my workplace. If they can do it, I can do it too. It is about stepping up and owning your awesome. So please do, as you go ahead and like, love and share, I'm sending big chocolate coated kisses to everybody who has been doing that. You know how much I love and adore you and I really do appreciate it because that is how we create global change. Okay. And the and the whole um, point of today's overcoming resistance is to quit arguing with yourself. Nobody else is arguing with you. When you decide that you want something, that voice inside you is like, I really want this, as in, not, I really want the whole tub of ice cream. No. When the voice inside you, right, the calm, sensible, loving voice goes, I really want to quit eating the entire tub of ice cream every single night. It doesn't make me feel good. And then all those other voices start chiming in. Yeah, well, how else are you supposed to reward yourself at the end of the day? If you don't eat it, somebody else will. Um, there's only a little bit left. You might as well just polish it off. All this goes on in our head, different voices chiming in. And in the end, we get so confused and so freaked out by our own indecision that we just go, oh, I'll just eat it. I'll just eat it to make this noise stop. Tell me, t listen, throw me an emoji if I'm speaking the truth because you know it is right. Yeah. So this is how we roll. Very, very often we get stuck and caught in resistance because we go against our own heart's desire just to make the conflict in our head stop. That is just some unacceptable behavior. Sexy motivation is about you stepping up and going, no, no more. I can make it stop any time I like with a simple decision, an empowered decision, one that comes from a place of my knowing my awesomeness, my hotness, my sexiness, and the fact that I have the power to step into who I am, who I want to be, and use that. Use that to take myself forward instead of constantly dragging myself down and backwards. That's not what we're about. So as I started the live stream today, I said, listen, listen, listen. 
we are nearly into December. We are nearly ready to wrap up this entire year. Now, this is a time when so many of us start going, oh, no, no, it's all too hard now. Thanksgiving, the parties, the, the Christmas, you know, the whole thing. And then, um, you know, it's it's all happening, New Year. We think, why bother? Oh, just why bother? It's too hard. At what point do you draw the line in the sand? Because let's be real. Well, yes, we've had Thanksgiving. Yes, we've got Christmas coming and we've got New Year. It's a giant food festival, right? We know that. But it's not very long after that that we then have Easter. Uh, well, are we just going to make, like, just continue these stories forever? Oh, well, then Easter's coming, so I might as well not get my act together now either. It's not going to end. It's not going to finish. <sighs> then in between all of that, we have birthdays, we have other celebrations, other things roll out. I don't know, people have bar mitzvahs, whatever is going on, right? It's fabulous. But there is never going to be a perfect time on the calendar for you to step up and step into the power of who you are and take the decisions that you know you want to make, the things that you know are important to you, but you've been brushing them aside because in your head, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. There's another classic form of resistance. It's not the right time. When? If not, if not now, when? Please tell me. Because I was the queen of picking dates on the calendar going, this is a perfect time. This is perfect. And, and you heard me say yesterday, because we do, we do. As ex dieters, we really love ourselves a good date on the car. I said, a date. We love ourselves a good date. And I said, not a date with a partner, which I'm sure is also fabulous. I'm talking about dates on the calendar. We love us a good, fresh start. So we like to look at the calendar and go, the first of the month falls on a Monday. This day is sure to have magical powers. Pixies will dance around me. I will absolutely lose weight for sure if I start my fancy new plan on this day. And so we do. But you are still you. You are still the same person that you were 24 hours before and that you will be 24 hours later. Nothing has changed inside you. No firm decision was made apart from you picking a magical date on the calendar and thinking that it had fairy powers and it was just going to change your whole life. It's a date on the calendar. Nothing means anything apart from the meaning you give it. So at what point are you going to step up and decide, I deserve more? I'm going to honor myself more than I'm going to honor the chocolate cake Honor the, the fancy dates on the calendar. Honor something outside of you when all the time the resistance was only ever inside of you. At what point are you going to come in, come backwards, come in and go, all right, it's time to step up. It's time to move forward because that's when you're really going to change. That's when you're going to see the results that you want. <laughs>